Hey, welcome back to World Entertainment, and we officially have some news regarding Marvel and the X-Men movies. Yes, we know that Marvel is meant to be introducing X-Men into the MCU, officially at some stage, but we now have our first update in eight months. That's right, and what it is, is it's finally got a writer. Now, it's not to get excited about, especially when you find out who it is and what they've done, but also, every time they hire a writer, usually the first person they hire ends up handing in one or two drafts and then gets booted. So, I have no confidence that this guy will be sticking around for too long regarding this movie. Also, this is insane to think that X-Men is now only being discussed to be brought back into the MCU brought back to live action stuff since Fox was acquired by Disney all the way back in 2018. That's when that officially happened and here we are in 2024 and they're only now got one writer so far. So let's have a look at who this is and what it is and why it's really nothing to get excited about. So the upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe rebooted X-Men movie is closer to becoming a reality as the creative team has landed its first member. The MCU movie timeline is getting ready to finally bring in the X-Men after Disney's acquisition of 20th Century Fox, which gave Marvel Studios the characters rights back. While Deadpool and Wolverine will give audiences a taste of mutants in the MCU, a proper X-Men movie is in the works. It's funny to how quickly they seem to have forgot that Ms. Marvel is now meant to be a mutant. Eh. So, in a new report from Deadline, Michael Leslie has landed the gig as the writer for the X-Men movie. At the time of this story's publication, Marvel Studios and Disney have yet to comment on the report. There is currently no director attached to the X-Men reboot. There is also no release date set for the film, and casting has not started yet. A search for a writer for the X-Men reboot began in fall of 2023, when Marvel Studios began meeting with various screenwriters to hear their pitches. So, you're saying, why is it not to get excited about, about this guy, Michael Leslie, and half years are probably all gone, who? Exactly. He's the guy who wrote the Assassin's Creed movie. Yeah, that an absolute dumpster fire. He also was one of the co-writers on the brand new The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Also, that movie, uh, the reception wasn't great and it didn't break even at the box office. And there's a lot of people who tried to say it did. Look, it brought in total worldwide. 337.4 million dollars on a reported budget of a hundred million dollars so you're adding in then your an extra 100 to 150 for promotional stuff you're looking at the movie having to break in between 350 to 400 maybe even 450 to break even it didn't do it so it's a failure other than those two movies he's literally written nothing N not movie wise anyway he's written uh four shorts he wrote a segment for something else i think a show and he did a mini series that's it that's all the guy's done since 2005 to now that's all he's done so he did a short heavy metal drummer in 2005 then airlock or How to Say Goodbye in Space. That was a short. Uh, Capture Anthologies. Uh, that he wrote a segment for. Which apparently is that airlock. Of how, um, of how to Say Goodbye in Space. He wrote a short called Skirt. He wrote a short called Eleanor. He wrote a screenplay for Macbeth. From 2015. Which I think failed as well. Then, of course, he wrote Assassin's Creed. Then, The Little Drummer Girl, which was a mini-series. And then, lastly, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songs, uh, Songbirds and Snakes. That's it. That's 
all this dude has done. And he's got four upcoming projects. And you're just like, okay. So it has the untitled Marvel X-Men film. Uh, assume you would think the title for it would be X-Men. He apparently is going to be a writer on Now You See Me 3. Something called Haven. And Hamlet. Um, so, yippee. <laughs> and and the Haven is only in development. Uh, now you see me, tree is pre-production. Uh, Hamlet is post-production. Is that he's done nothing? And for the two main stay things that he did, the Assassin's Creed and the Hunger Games movie, they were both failures. Why can't Marvel just hire someone who knows what they're doing, and more so, someone who maybe even knows? the material of X-Men. This guy, by the way, he's British and he's only 39. Um, and that, like, to be 39 and that's all he's done is weird. Like, as a writer, that's really strange. Um, but, you know, we really have no confidence that they're going to do good with X-Men. We all know it, that it's going to put all the women front and centre I wouldn't be surprised if they actually take on board what, what was her name, Victoria Alonso, originally said, the name X-Men so out of date, that should be changed. I wouldn't be surprised if they changed it. I would not be surprised if the rumours are true that we heard years ago that they will end up calling X-Men mutants, that that's what they'll officially be called, mutants. Um, So... As I said, this guy, he's probably not going to be around for long. He'll probably hand in a few drafts. And then it'll be, oh, creative differences and off he toddles. Because it'll be like, are you kidding me? What is this garbage? It's not woke enough. Go away. Because <laughs> that's what they do. Um, so, yeah, it's nothing to get excited about. Um, we'll probably hear within the next month or so that he's probably gone. And they brought in someone new who... We'll probably hear has never even heard of the X-Men to write the X-Men. God only knows. It's Marvel after all and Kevin Feige. Christ help us all. But there you go. That's the story so far on X-Men coming to the MCU. Yay. <laughs> so with that, like, share, subscribe. I'll leave it there for this one. Cheers. And I'll catch you in the next one.